The big question is how do I increase the numbers? So it was only again numbers in my mind, you know, that point of that's why sales. But here at you know at back uh, in India, the our company's motive is basically to educate that it's just not a purely money making thing. You know, mm-hmm. there's more to it. If you were to take this consistently every day in your life, uh, you can meet it. The wow. commodity market in MCX in India is open twenty four hours. Okay, you can trade and go at any time. So basically, you're not supposed to sleep. If you're, you're not, not supposed to sleep, you can make money twenty four seven. My next question would be, let's say I am an Indian investor. How do I, you know, decide and how much scope there is for me to grow? Because officially India is restricted, right? And is there a solution to that, like a midway out? I think, I think I'm not the one to, you know, comment on that because uh, I think uh, India, as uh, you know, as a country, as uh, and the government needs to uh, take few steps uh, sure. uh, to uh, you know intervene now because there is no regulatory body in the world to uh, you know directly you know which is overlooking forex. Mm-hmm. So um, I think if I were to even uh, see from government's perspective why it's not legal in India, I think it's still fair because uh, you know when you're involved when you're involving foreign currency, you're exchanging one currency with another. Uh, you know, you're putting uh, your foreign reserve at stake. Yeah. Right? Let's say, for example, you know, if I'm 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 winning, I mean, then I'm losing also. Yeah. I, we yeah, are both. both there, 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 there are both both aspects. One has to uh, have losses as well. Uh, the concern of you know, uh, as per India, uh, you know, it is you know, we are not educated mm-hmm. in terms of uh, trading trades. Got it. You're not very educated, you know. Somebody, some third person can come and you know just guide you. Okay, fine, you know, you do this. You know, you end up, you know, taking losses for your own self impulsively. Impulsively, and you know, there the government will say that you know it's not our responsibility. Okay. The government doesn't want to take that responsibility, mm-hmm. and also you putting a foreign reserve at your at the stake. Yeah, it's going, you know. Got it. Yeah, it's going so out the country, not only for you, but the country for the country well, as yeah. well. You're you're exhausting uh, India's uh, you know important yeah. uh, foreign reserve. Got it. So which is very crucial for mm. uh, you know the future developments. Mm. So as a country, if we want to take the risk involved, yes, it is. It can be big. Uh, you know, as the government has regulated the crypto, also now it has you know imposed thirty percent tax on it. I think uh, we should do. We should come up with some way here as well. So some regulation. Some regulation can should be there. So, uh, in the sense, in the broader sense, is forex becoming official and more expansive? Is it good for the country? I mean, it's, it's definitely good. good. For it's definitely good. good. But it, yeah. it, 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 if I were to say individually, I think if India uh, makes it, you know, completely legal in India, I think maybe in twenty twenty five it's like way too far. I think by twenty twenty four only we can we can surpass the you know, wow. large nations. Uh, so that's the kind of uh, I see that opportunity in India. But again, the road is is still you know far, got right. it? Because there are going to be a lot of challenges. One being, uh, you know. Uh, Having worked at RBS in the anti money laundering department, I think uh, that's the main thing that you know. That's a big, that's a big big concern that you know uh, uh, these financial transactions have to be monitored, uh, you know, very very uh, you know regulated, uh, and it just doesn't go in the wrong hands. Right. 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 Yeah. So yeah, people always find their loopholes. Yeah. Or so uh, uh, was sitting. Everywhere. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's the concern. That's the challenge. Uh, you think that's why government is kind of skeptical? Yes. Okay. Basically, government, see, every government wants, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, the financial growth, every there. But yes, uh, you know, you know, as every sword uh, will have, like, it's a double edged yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah. It can go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, haywire. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. the right regulation will help. So, the right regulation will help. And I think with another two, three years, we're not part of that. Mm-hmm. So you see it happening. <coughs> it's yes. already in process. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think. So one of the solution, what I can think of is online uh, automation of, of transactions. Will, will that kind of help the government to track and make it more official? Or what could be the solution? Taxation. From this time. From this taxation and uh, you know, much like there's SEBI and SEBI is you know, taking care of the Indian stock market, the SEBI and uh, also, we have one FEMA, which is called Foreign Exchange Management Act. And mm-hmm. it's a very broader act where they say that they have a policy that under that window, one can exchange physically 90 million tr- uh, million uh, dollars oh, and, wow. with one individual. So, you know, it's a very, it's, uh, it's quite big, but... Uh, you know, uh, it's a very broad guideline. They don't, they haven't mentioned anything particular to that. So, you know, they go to work, the central banks, uh, they go to work, uh, you know, uh, more, specific, more specifically. Uh, in detail, uh, according to the atmosphere. In the Maybe they can always limit the transactions. Right. Taxation being one, they can limit the transactions mm-hmm. up to which the, uh, in the individual can trade. Okay, that can also be one thing because Absolutely. the ultimate goal is to save the foreign yeah, and you know, make make yeah. sure that it's coming. You know, once the money is coming, it's always good for everybody, yeah, right? yeah. including the government. Of course. So oh, yeah, cool. once it starts going out, then that's the issue. Amazing. Yeah. We hope that it happens. Yeah. yeah. I think it is. Amen to that. Yeah. Okay, so now let's move on to the next big trivia thing, which is crypto. Um, what's your view on? It and how is it right now? You know, see, uh, crypto um, is a very uh, in uh, thing that you know we are we are yeah. going to you know listen from each each one of us. Uh, what is crypto actually? You know, it's the demand and supply uh, game. Mm-hmm. You know, let's say for this this glass, you say that I'm going to buy this glass for one dollar. You know, you you're creating a demand. Yeah, the yeah. other person says, uh, I'm going to buy the same glass at $3, mm. you know. So, so this is nothing, it's actually crypto, uh, whatever you're making, it's, the product in itself is nothing. Got it's it. the supply and demand. It's very virtual, right? Yeah. Everything is virtual. Yeah. yeah. So uh, once you're talking about crypto, there's a huge, huge whole lot new uh, world coming up, which is called Metaverse. Mm. Also, of course. So controversial. Uh, the controversial. <laughs> so uh, you know, c- crypto as such is is is, uh, is is the next big thing, of course. Uh, but uh, again, you know, when you're talking from uh, traders' perspective, investors' perspective, we've got to be very very careful while uh, selecting the instruments. Right now, there are many uh, many uh, you know crypto uh, cryptocurrencies which are uh, you know day on day day on day and night uh, you know which yeah. are being launched. I think there are about 13,000 plus right now. Yeah, there are more than that. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you go to research them. If you want to, uh, you know, take specific investments on certain coins, you got to be very specific sure. in terms of there because, you know, uh, the data is not very, mm-hmm. the charts, they don't go long back to history. Yeah. It's very, it's very new, new then, right? History. So, yeah. it's, it's a very new territory. Uh, you got to give it time. You got to go slow in terms of mm-hmm. uh, putting money. Sure. See how much returns in the next three months or six months is giving you. Then you, uh, you know, decide for the next six months how you want to, uh, you know, put in. So uh, twenty twenty five is is uh, is a year where uh, crypto is going to again uh, rise up, rise up uh, after the big crash. Uh, yeah, the crash. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, crypto is again designed in a way that you know we're talking about, you know. A whole new reality of uh, you know universe that maybe tomorrow in future if we land up on a different planet how we're going to exchange the currency. Yeah, basically. it's this as is, good as that. Yeah. This is basically you know the crypto is basically designed in a way in that way you know that you know maybe you know how will I uh, because there you know let's say for example Mars there there's no gravity how am I going to exchange the uh, currency? 
this is something very very futuristic yeah. you know uh, you know, you know uh, keep in mind all of those uh, you know thoughts then it's the uh, you know a different uh, way to look at yeah it. like you you you're setting your expectations right basically mm-hmm. because then you're not bullish about it like right now yeah. you're just not uh, you yeah. know you got to be more realistic that mm-hmm. what is the scenario right now what is my government doing mm-hmm. what is my government's regulations uh, mm-hmm. asking me to do it for us so so uh, i mean <clears throat> what are the top 5 let's say right now would you recommend to our audience in terms of when you see a safe crypto investment the future you know if you can give us that <laughs> <laughs> So I think you should wait for Bitcoin uh, to go uh, to go a little more on a more corrective mode because oh, still the uh, Ethereum is definitely one. Uh, uh, this Shiba Inu. Mm-hmm. Uh, so these are the these are the main three. Yeah, main three that yeah. you would recommend are the yeah. safest to go. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So um let's say if I have a kitty you know of 100% like that's my uh, appetite mm-hmm. risk appetite as a uh, investment how much percent should crypto be in it in terms of you know like what mm-hmm. i understand of it is even if i lose it tomorrow mm-hmm. it should not create a dent mm-hmm. you know you can have yeah. uh, around 20 to 30 uh, 20 to 30% 20 30% you would suggest okay So now that we're talking of the breakup, what are the other like? What would you recommend in terms of thirty to forty percent for it? For it, okay. Much. So that makes it seventy to eighty is done. Yeah, and the rest, and the rest ten to twenty percent. Uh, you know, you can go for uh, mutual funds. Okay, you know, the aggressive mutual funds. If you want to make, uh, if you have a proper, uh, you know, uh, a financial goal in your mind, so these are the three, uh, you know, uh, ways that you know uh, this will generate returns. If one is not performing, the other will. Got it. These are the top three. So basically, the gold or uh, the FDs are completely out. Yeah, I agree. No, gold is definitely there. Gold, uh, gold is definitely there. In fact, we are the ones, you know, uh, to uh, to be predicting every day what what is going to happen to gold. Right now, also, it's the gold that we trade, uh, you know, the most. So there is something called digital gold. Yeah, it's 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 not digital gold actually. It's the currency that you are uh, dealing with. Oh, got it. So your gold is basically you know like a currency uh, in mm-hmm. terms of uh, so in international market the symbol is XAU. Uh, got it. XAU USD. Mm-hmm. So your value of the gold, the currency value of the gold, in uh, versus the dollar value. Okay, it's that. Okay, so it's not so one of the currencies. Yeah, basically. So basically, you are exchanging like a currency. Gold you are using as a currency. So what would you suggest? Like, uh, do I invest in physical gold? Is that a better thing? So yeah, I mean, uh, see, as I said, you know, there are two perspectives to it. One being the investor, you can always, you know, have physical gold as and when your, uh, you know, your your kitty is alive, you to, uh, you know, invest. Yeah. Right. And uh, always wait for the dips in the market. You know, you can always go anytime. You can go in the physical market and go and buy gold, right? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, electronically in terms of trade, uh, you know, it's always better to have the consultant, the right kind of consultant mm-hmm. to, you know, uh, guide, guide you. You, uh, uh, you know, what trades to take, and you know, uh, you know, take them, uh, you know, take them in charge of your portfolio. So they can, you know, better take care of the portfolio and. Re- generate the returns so you are like you manage the entire portfolio let's say if i'm a client you could yeah. do that yes we okay. do that yeah. amazing another uh, contact point guys <laughs> okay so i think <clears throat> we have talked pretty much about all the options mm-hmm. uh, do you also want to give an insight on other option like mutual fund and stuff or that's kind of pretty um, that's the conventional that's the conventional way uh, you know uh, Yeah, we're not into we're not into mutual funds, mm-hmm. but yes, uh, you know, uh, it's it's definitely uh, you know I would not say that you know should not do it. Mm-hmm. Continue that. Continue that. Okay. Your kitty allows you should. You should. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Right? So, do you want to talk about your mentor? Or do you have a mentor that who has inspired you or you know guided you? Well, I think uh, <laughs> at the right start of the conversation, only I mentioned that it's it was my uh, you know father who 
who pushed me into management. Sure. So I think um, I've seen him working, uh, uh, you know, right from scratch. Uh, so he happens to be in finance as well. Not in finance. He has a different uh, field altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in textile uh, mm -hmm. business. Yeah. But uh, he's always he's the one who's always uh, told me to uh, be the boss. Uh, you know, become your own boss. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think. Uh, I, I, I don't see any other you know, mentor as good as him, uh, you know, uh, because uh, even this industry, uh, you know, the finance industry is very challenging. Every day evolving is very dynamic. Yeah. I mean, with a lot of challenges, of course. So I think he happens to be the one person, you know, who has always uh, encouraged me to, you know, uh, be on my toes and not give up. Wow. That so, means a lot. Yeah. I mean, because I'm sure there are times you go to the rock bottom. Yes, yes. Like yes. wondering, you know, yeah, what yeah. you're doing in life. And that's when, that's amazing. Yeah. Any other person that comes to your mind about me? From the finance domain? Or... Yeah, no, it's not such Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a mix, I think. It's a mix, yeah. yeah. Right. You wouldn't want to take up anybody's policy and you know then we uh, <laughs> and blame the other person. Rather, you just want to blame your own self. Yeah. All right. Great. I think we have covered a lot um, you know, of options and uh, leaving the audience with a lot of insight and tips. Um, yeah, guys, do you if you have any more questions on your personal finance. Please feel free to get in touch with her. As I said, we have linked her bio. As we have seen her professional journey, very interesting insight on and a lot of tips for all of us. I think now it's time to uh, know her personal journey and how she integrated her personal and professional life. So that would be really interesting. Can you please take us through that? <laughs> well, personal life, uh, yeah, as I said, that... Uh... I got married uh, in the year 2015 and 2016 I was blessed with a beautiful baby boy. It's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, my journey uh, started as a mother also quite early at a stage that when I uh, I was also uh, thinking uh, the career transition. So that's what